Hello Knitting Addicts, um, welcome to my living room and to this 13th episode of my creative podcast, I'm Selma, and today we will talk about knitting and only about knitting. I hope you're well and uh, I want to start this episode by wishing you a very, very um, happy new year. I hope 2018 brings you loads of happiness and um, good moments and fine knitting and love and everything that you could wish for. I hope you had a lovely holiday period and that it eased you into 2018 um, the way you wanted it to. Um, I just spent two weeks in La Réunion, um, that's a tiny island off the, the east coast of Africa, close to Madagascar, and that tells you more <laughs> about it. It's not really visible here but I did tan a bit. I'm really happy about that because it basically never happens. But well, I never spend enough time in the sun for it to actually start happening. But anyway, um, it was a really, really great trip. Um, I spent Christmas and New Year with my beloved and a uh, small part of my family. And it was really, really, um, it was just great, you know. Um, I hope I can go back there again in the future, although not in the near future, because I don't think my finances can um, allow me to do it. Because uh, let's be honest, it's, but the flights are very expensive to go there. But well, I have other plans for 2018 and um, it will just happen later, if it does. Um, let's start with uh, knitting. I have three finished projects, um, only two of which I can actually show you today because the last, well, the third one um, I actually offered already. Um, it's the Airstream hat with a pattern by Sarah Sundermeyer. Uh, actually, I finished it before the previous episode, but I completely forgot to talk, tell you about it, so sorry. I will, I will put a picture up there so you can actually see what it looks like. It was a really, really lovely uh, knit, very easy and um, just, just um, flew off my needles basically. Um, yeah, and I offered it to someone who really appreciated it. So that's, that's the most important part, I think. But then I can't really tell you more about it because I sh well I it's always easier when you actually have it you know to to touch and to to show but anyway I finished this during my holidays it's a, it's a hat but it's a it's a kid's size it's called the big stitch beanie and the pattern is by Nelia Plasky I'm really sorry if you're coming around and uh, and I'm, I'm mispronouncing a name. Um, I really apologize. Um, it's uh, it's a test knit and it was really really simple. It looks intricate but the color work is actually not that complicated. The, 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 the chart is very easy to follow and to remember so yeah always so pretty inside. Um, anyway, I will offer it to my nephew. I will give it to him next time I saw him. I just hope that it's not too big for his small head. Well, he's four, so I guess it should still be fine. Um, it was a very pleasant knit. I started on the plane, I think, and uh, or shortly before we actually left. And so sorry. <laughs> so I guess I'm still a bit tired from the trip and everything. And they're going back to this lovely weather. Well, it's basically as grey as there, as in La Réunion, or La Réunion was as grey as there, but it was like 15 degrees more. And um, yeah, anyway. No, we also had a lot of sun. It's just that we were staying in the highlands and uh, they're always more overcast than the coast. Anyway, uh, back to this um, hat. I really, really love the way it uh, creates a kind of star shaped around the crown, star shape around the crown. Um, it was very fast, very easy. I knitted with some yarn from Fil d'Art, um, which is very surprising. I don't know if you actually have this brand anywhere else than in France, 
but um, it's mostly pretty cheap yarn, not the best quality to be honest, a lot of, of um, synthetic um, threads, yarns, blends. In that case it's 100% merino and it's also Ecotex certified, so it's it was a good surprise. I went to a shop for something else and uh, I ended up buying two skeins, so one navy blue and one off-white because um because i didn't really have anything that inspired me in my stash to make it and um i only needed small small amounts of the yarn i used something like 20 grams of each not included the, not including the pom-pom i actually hesitated between making it with well a mix of na of blue and of white but then I went for only white. I asked on Instagram and the overwhelming majority was for this off-white. So yeah, I actually really like it. I'm considering making one for myself now. The third hat I want to show you is the Lan hat by with a pattern by Verena Kors. Um, it's really nice. I made it with the origin yarn, which I showed you last time. I was about to say last week, but no, that was not last week. Last time. Um, it's so it's German yarn, very very natural and very rustic. Let's say it's un un undyed and. Um, yeah, it's just really, really nice. You know, it gives a really great stitch definition and. <clears throat> Sorry, it's um, the yarn sticks to itself, you know. So it's not it's not it's not slipping off the needles or anything. And yeah, it has a, a really nice wooly, sheepy feeling, you know. Um, it's really fine for a hat, and it's going to be fine for gloves or mitts or mittens as well. But I wouldn't make. I wouldn't make a scarf out of it because I think it would be a little too coarse for my throat. But yeah, for the head, or, for the head or, or the hands, it's really fine. It's more snug than what I usually make because it's I'm more about. Well, I prefer making beanies mostly, but I really like this one. The pattern makes a very interesting shape. You know, you know what I mean. It's not boring and it's not just a um sorry so i did burn a bit on my back so it's a bit itchy sometimes um what was i saying yes it doesn't really look like uh, just a simple sailor's hat you know it's a bit more intricate than that the pattern was well written and very easy to follow i just made well to be honest the ribs were a bit annoying because there everything is knit and purled through the back loop so yeah it's um it's longer than regular ribs to be honest almost anyway it's uh, yeah it takes more time to knit than regular ribs but um yeah it's not that problematic either and also i didn't read stuff properly at first and my I don't know how to call that cable no yeah well they were not going in the same in the right direction so basically these instead of going out were facing inside and these were facing inside as well so just wrong but that's all on me I just misread the instructions so I just ripped it off and started again from the ribbing <laughs> ah, it's okay you know what we say in my work is doing and undoing is still working so yeah and you keep learning you know you keep learning to read things better before you start something <laughs> anyway i think i will have very soon enough hats to actually wear one every day and not twice the same in one year but yeah, it doesn't matter i like hats i like knitting them and uh, they're a pretty thing well they're a pretty easy easy thing to offer so yeah i think i will go on knitting hats also, they're fast, you know, so you can, you have a fast result to hold into your hands. It's not, it's really not the same with 
with shawls and more long-term knits which can sometimes get a bit boring you know at least here you it takes a week max and um, and yeah you have a very nice finished object in your hands it's very satisfying as well um i have two works in progress to show you the first one is the one which is giving me flew off it's giving me a bit of trouble at the moment and i i'm 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 frustrated because i don't know where it comes from this trouble so it's a pair of mittens it's the moulin mittens for the pattern by ruth Warwai. i made her uh, puzzle wood mittens which i showed you last time the two colored ones you know um so these have a cabled cuff and then pretty easy shape afterwards but but this is my right hand and I knit it using the left hand um, instructions because I actually finished both hands following exactly the instructions as they were written and I ended up with two right mitts I, I have no idea how that happened because well, the instructions are pretty clear but um, I don't know where I messed it up Sorry. Yeah, I don't know where I messed it up, but I guess I did at some point. And um, I checked the Ravelry page of the project and the projects with well, the of the pattern and the projects that were made using this pattern, which are mostly uh, test knitters. And um, yeah, none of them seem to have be to have had the same issue. So I think I will drop an email to the designer to ask her what I might be doing wrong, you know, because I've started trying to calculate things myself, but I'm not that um, comfortable with it. I considered using the, the instructions for another pattern, but then, well, for even the puzzle wood mittens, you know, but the construction is different, so it, it's not going to work. So yeah, either I keep trying until I, until I find the right solution or I just um, give up but I already have one mitten you know I don't really want to have uh, to have it alone and single forever I really like the cabled um, the cabled cuff you know and uh, the mitts themselves are the mittens I have the same issue in French I keep mixing them up you know mittens and mitts um, yeah I just want to finish them but I'm I'm really confused I think I might take them to the next knit night to ask someone's opinion about what I could do to actually um, make it better you know mm, I don't know anyway the second one is not giving me as much trouble as this one it's the Duneve cap by Kate Davis and um, yeah I think last time I showed you I was not I hadn't done a full repetition of the pattern yet. Now I have, I'm like at one and a half or yeah. I'm getting close to the maximum width of the half. So it, it will be 102 stitches. It's, um, I wouldn't say it's a mindless knit unless you're in this part, you know, but um, because you still need to, to follow the, the chart, you know, to actually not make any mistakes in the pattern. But it's not something that will give you headaches either. You, know, you can just keep it at hand in case you need to refer to it or just before you start the row to make sure that you're at the right spot. But yeah, it's um, it's very nice. I like the, the I-cord edge as well. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Jet lag and all. No, I'm just kidding. I slept like a log the first day after we came. And I've been sleeping like a log the last two days as well. Anyway, yeah, it's, um, I think it's going to be really nice. And I was expecting the, the, the wool to be more coarse, you know, or more rustic, but it's actually very soft once you knit it. So, yeah. It would really be really, nice. really, really nice. Um, I wanted to show you what I received for a Christmas swap. Um, it was organized on a French group. 
and um, the the instructions were to send you would send one skein of fingering weight yarn and well a hundred grams of them of that finger weight a hundred grams of fingering weight yarn I'm sorry it's a bit difficult today also we start we've started speaking more French with my husband and I'm losing my words a bit but anyway um, yeah, because normally we speak, we used to speak only English at home, but whatever. Um, yeah, so the the yarn you need to, you had to send a card and um, some knitting um, goodies and some um, some stuff for your sweet tooth, you know. Well, of course, we sent we 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 filled. Um, um, perform with um, our preferences concerning food and yarn and various stuff but anyway so I got this lovely card that wishes me a really great Christmas I got I will start with the non yarn related stuff a um, small candle that smells like cinnamon I really really love that smell I had well, I put them in a pot, but I had an assortment of uh, chocolate and um, chocolate-covered stuff. Now, yeah, I put them in a small pot because I don't want to have them um, laying around. But I will have one from time to time and it's going to be really nice. I also got tea, which I also put away already because I didn't want to have it around the living room, which is a mess already. I um let's say I got a bit carried over with all my stuff. My husband's realm is the office and mine is the living room. So sometimes things start uh, start living there, you know. Anyway, that was a really nice box with very pretty markers, stitch markers. I think they got a bit tangled here. But anyway, they are um, they are just a piece of um, they're just a loop with a small bead at the bottom. They are gray ones and ivory ones. They're nice because they're not too big, but they can still um, you can still put them on rather big needles, you know, but they still won't get in the way and the if if the needles are smaller, you know. And they're handmade. Pauline, who sent me the package, made them herself, and it's a really nice attention. I also got a very pretty uh, notebook. It's blank, which is well, it's pretty ironic because I'm totally incapable of actually writing straight line straight lines if I don't have lines or dots or whatever to guide me. But um, I do have some ideas already for it, so. I also got something that was really touching because it really um, took time and effort to make it and um, it was, yeah, it's, it's really nice. It's actually a um, um, pouch or small booklet to actually put needles and, and knitting stuff in it, you know, you have some nice segments, compartments and pockets in it and yeah, it's um, you know, a big part of the of the fun in that kind of of, of um, swap is to actually find stuff that uh, your swapee will appreciate. You know, and it, it's a lot of the fun is in the time and effort that it takes to um, find buy find make stuff which um, which will be loved. You know, so yeah, this one really. Um, really showed that effort and it's uh, it was really really nice oh yeah I forgot to show you the other sweets which I got I got Smurfs I got Crocodiles I got Dragibus I don't know if they have a different name in English and I got Strawberries I get that these are my let's say they are they would be my demise if i let it if i let them get to me you know um 
they are the only sweets where if I open the package and put my hand in it, you can be sure that I will finish it to the last um, to the last crumb of sugar at the bottom of the package. They are terrible for me, so I try not to. I don't buy them never, ever, because I know that um, I will finish the package if I do. So yeah, I'm glad some. I'm glad she offered me a small one. Where I can actually indulge without feeling guilty because I just ate 200 grams of Frestageta. Anyway, the last part, and uh, I wouldn't say the most interesting, but the most expected, was the yarn. And uh, she sent me this beauty. It's from Latinium Ex Machina, which is a brand which I had no idea existed. The colorway is called Endwin. And it's a really, really nice uh, dark blue with a bit of teal in it and uh, and golden stellinine. I don't know if the color will look right, but it's really, really nice. I don't know yet what I will do with it, but because I think it will require a special project, you know can't wait to be starting on it so really um, again thank you Pauline if you're watching this it was um, it was a really really nice package to receive I didn't get news from the person I sent my package to but I hope she liked it as well um, and yeah I want well I had hoped that I could show you what I ordered from Air de Lune which I told you about previously um, those five five six I can't even remember that was some time ago and but I can't wait to receive them um, but the postal services have been playing games with me lately and it's not the first package that has trouble arriving to me but this one has definitely been by far the most complicated to retrieve and I haven't ha I haven't managed yet so it's frustrating I just uh, well I, I the last person I talked to gave me a number uh, which I need to call on Monday, which I will definitely do. Um, and I will also write a formal complaint about it because it's just uh, impossible that it's uh, that it's dealt th with that way. But I will show it to you next time we speak because I definitely hope that I will have gotten my package until then. I'm, I, will, I just hope that it's not sent back to the US until then. Anyway. Well, I've, we've seen it all, actually. I've told you all I had to tell you today. I hope you enjoyed it. You, please, if you did, like, comment, share, subscribe if, if you haven't yet. Um, again, I wish you a very, very happy uh, year 2018. And um, I'll see you next time very soon. And until then, enjoy your knitting. Bye.